Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at BergzergArcade.com, and this is tutorial 243. We're still in the changing room. Oh, not the change room, sorry, the uh, character customization. Uh, the changing room was the very first attempt at uh, creating a customizable place for or customizable character place. Uh, so you might hear me refer to it uh, a few times, but uh, you should know what I mean. But anyway, uh, in this one here, it's, we're in part L, and we're going to play around with the skin colors. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And for this one here, if we actually open up the scripts, I've had a couple questions, you know, not knowing exactly what to attach the scripts to. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up the character scripts and the character customization ones. And we're going to be looking at the skin tone selector. Uh, the easy way to do it, if we just double click it, we'll open it up in Mono Develop. I notice that there's a, a mouse down event. That means it's going to be attached to some sort of game object. I really can't think of an easier way to put it. Uh, there's not a whole lot of code here. Uh, but let's see it in action. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, three game objects to my scene. And let me see, we already have cubes to rotate. And let's actually see where they're positioned on the screen. Just so I know exactly where I can put some stuff. I'm going to move those cubes down a bit. Uh, just to give me a bit more room. And I'm going to go ahead and create a, I don't know, a, um, let's do some spheres. And I'll move this up. I'm going to scale the sphere probably about half that size. And let's take a look, see how that looks in game. And what I'm going to do is use these here to um, allow me to change my skin colors. And I actually have three skin colors with this pack from Pro Games. So I'll just double or duplicate it. And we'll just move it over. I know it's not centered and doesn't look very nice, but it's just to give you an idea of how this works. So here we go. I've got three spheres up here. And to be honest, before I created these spheres, I'm just going to select the first one. And I'm going to drop the script onto it. And I'm just going to shrink these up a bit. And we'll notice here we have a color code, color code 1. And if we go ahead and go into Mono Develop, let's take a look at the script, figure out what those color codes mean. Uh, I don't actually have them in here. But anyway, you'll notice here that we go along and we're going to do tell the player customization uh, script uh, to change player color and according to the color code. And before we look at that script, let's go ahead and duplicate this now. So two, three. And I really should have um, left the code in here so I knew exactly what color meant what. Uh, but I know that there was three values and there's just three different uh, colors of skin. But anyway, I'm just going to quickly rename these. I'm just going to, I don't know, Sphere 3, Sphere 1, and Sphere 2. And of course, these are your skin color things. But uh, let's go ahead and open up Player Customization Model. And it was something about the skin. Let me just take another look here. We're looking for the Change Player Skin Color. Uh, I'm going to come down to the bottom because that's usually where I throw in my enumerations and it's not there so let's actually just find the function here it is right here uh, quick search so we're gonna go in we're gonna take a look at the color we're gonna set the skin color to equal to that color uh, we're gonna call it, we're gonna set update to be equal to true so if we come up to update um, let's see so update if it's equal to true we call update head so let's go ahead and find that one update head and we're going to change the head material and the head main texture so we're just going to go through here and here's where we're doing the skin color so this gives you an idea of where uh, we're gonna to have to store those the, the color for our skin so I'm gonna go ahead and head back into unity and I want to set up the actual colors so I know exactly what color I'm going to be making my skin and I believe I have it set up to be regular color, light color, dark color for skin. So let's go into the Fro game assets. Um, probably material and textures. Um, let's see. Keep going down. Uh, textures. I'm looking for an excerpt of just the skin and now that I think of it, I think what I did, actually did do is actually come in and just cut, um, well, obviously not on that one, but actually just uh, cut a little swath out of there. 
So let me go ahead and I'm going to shrink this down. I'm going to come into my resources folder. And under character, uh, I'm going to come in and create a new folder. And I'm going to call this folder skin colors. And I want to spell it right. <laughs> Oolers. And if you want to spell it the O-U-R, that's fine. Uh, anyway, in here I'm going to create another folder. I'm actually going to create two. One for materials and one for the textures. And I actually have uh, the materials already made somewhere else. And like I said, all I did was go into uh, Photoshop, load up my character, uh, copy his skin. Uh, copy a little swatch of skin off of them and save it off and I'll come in and here's what it looks like we just have this little square thing of skin and as you can see it's only a 32 by 32 piece and it really doesn't even need to be that big but I'm gonna go ahead and actually create some materials and I actually want three so I'm gonna go ahead and make three and then let's go ahead and rename them I'm gonna say uh, skin light skin medium and skin dark call them whatever you want and I'm going to go ahead and assign the proper materials to them so this one here if we just click on it to open it up skin dark uh, skin light and skin medium and then we'll just go ahead and assign these actually to our cubes and you can actually just drag and drop these right on. And like I said, I believe I actually have it set up that uh, we default is we start off at uh, medium. Uh, without actually looking at the code, I'm not 100% sure, but that's the way I'm going to work with it. And if it errors, then I know that's not the way I started it off. So we'll go ahead, we'll click on here. And I'm going to shrink the material down. I'm going to give this a color of 2. And this one a color of 3. And I don't actually believe I actually have this saved anywhere in the script, so I really should make a comment somewhere. But like I said, I don't want to add any code during this series. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's 1, 2, 3, not 0, 1, 2. Uh, but let's save that off. And it's not going to work yet, because I don't think we're actually, we have the uh, faces saved yet. Uh, but when we click one of these, something should happen. And of course, you can also make some mouse over events as well, if you'd like. Uh, but anyway, let's go on with the light color. So something did happen and it tried to change the material that we actually don't have a reference to yet or have no way of actually loading. So we'll click again. So as we see, they're working. Uh, not really much we can do with that. Uh, let's just go ahead and add some more uh, assets down here into our resource folder. So I'm going to come into the character one and I'm going to create another folder down here. And I'm going to call this folder faces. And of course, inside of faces, we'll want to create another folder. And these are for my human models. And then, of course, inside of there, I want to create another folder or potentially two one for male, one for female. And I'll just do male. Well, we'll do female as well, although I'm not going to be putting anything in there because I do not have any female models. All right, so once we get down to the mail, I'll create two more folders inside of there and one for materials. And keep it capital. And one for textures. Now inside of the materials, I'm going to create two materials. All right there. And one's called Enchanted. And this basically uh, changes the, um, adds like a specularity to your character for uh, when they become enchanted. And we're not going to be using this anytime soon, but I know it's something I want later on down the road. So it is something uh, I've added. And I believe there's actually a few uh, materials or a few textures in uh, this Fro game set. 
uh, for our character that actually uses a specular or there's something special about it. it's not the normal uh, diffuse that we're going to be using but anyway so I'm going to have an enchanted material and I'm also going to have a normal and of course normal just means you're, you're a normal person I'm going to go ahead shrink that down and I'm going to come down into textures now the format that I want for my player textures is head underscore uh, basically the index of um, the player head so this will range anywhere from uh, I believe I have uh, six types or something like that six total types and five of each or something similar to that so it's going to range over from like zero to five and then uh, underscore and then the index of the actual skin color so one two three uh, like that so uh, let's go ahead and actually find some of these uh, heads so I'm going to come in and I believe uh, we can just find them all in the material again and I want to go down to the textures actually and we can see some of them here so I'm going to come in here's the first one and I'm going to grab all three and I'm actually just well I'll, I'll grab two sets just for now and I'm going to take those and actually just drag them all the way down maybe as you can see there's quite a few <laughs> textures I'm going to have to go through to move them all down that's why I'm just doing a few of them and I'll drag them in here and like I said the name has to be changed uh, so let me actually just get one checked and the format I want is head underscore uh, no zero or sorry uh, just one digit here and then we want uh, the underscore of the index and dot human Um, actually, that's it. It's a PNG format. Uh, that's the way I'm loading mine up. I don't believe it actually matters because we're using resources to load, and I believe uh, it'll load it up anyway, regardless of the, the end format. Uh, that's the way I want it to work. And for some reason, it doesn't look like it changed. So head underscore zero one human. Ah, here it is down here. <laughs> um, I forgot it's just going to move. So that's light. That's lighter. So this will be two. So head uh, underscore zero two uh, human. And I'm actually just to keep this uh, video short, I'm just actually going to work through the first one. So head underscore zero uh, three human. And I'll just do the first one here just so you can see how it increases. So head underscore. Uh, the next one will be one. One. human and of course the next one will be head underscore one underscore two human then head underscore one underscore uh, three human but you get the idea and to be honest since you actually are in here I am just gonna quickly do them just because they are there so head underscore one three and we'll get rid of the head so there we go it should follow a simple pattern and of course the more you have the more you add okay so I've got that done and if you want to know how to index these go back and watch the, the video that we actually did in the, the the full tutorial series and let's actually go ahead and see if these are working now so it's gonna load up our game here and if we go ahead and click the light skin, you'll see a skin color change, the dark skin, and the medium skin. So we now have skin changing. Um, let's, we don't have a way to actually change the head yet. So that's not really going to matter. We'll do that in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.